Hello awesome people and welcome to um, the story of Moonquake So I released the album Moonquake last week on Friday <coughs> And um, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about behind the scenes um, A little bit about the story or the songs that didn't make it And the story behind the songs um, Some of the behind the scenes stories of the songs that are on the album and um, yeah, just talk about it a little bit uh, overall, just like I did with um, the um, how did you call it, the Space Oddity album. Uh, before I start this video, I want to say that you can listen to the album on Spotify, on Deezer, on uh, iTunes, on Apple Music, but it might be the same thing. Uh, I'm not sure, and. Um, you can buy the album for ten dollar if I'm correct at Amazon and Google Play. I'm going to donate one dollar, euro or pound from every sale that I make for the album, and I'm gonna donate it to um, Help Musicians UK. What is a very special charity um, uh, organization, and they really help musicians and help. Uh, musicians who had um, I would say sort of crisis with a burnout or with anxiety and how to deal with it and they help them to get further in music even though they have their problems and I think um, that it's a perfect um, charity and I'm really hoping to donate a lot of money to them um, at some point and um, to help them to uh, help other people or musicians So that was the basic <laughs> that was the start um, About the album I released it last week on uh, the 7th of December and um, So far very positive review or uh, feedback and um, Yeah, it was a lot of fun to make this album um, Let's start with the start in September this year um, I decided to move uh, on and make a new album um, Originally it was going to be called Door to the Multiverse and it was going to be a direct follow-up to Space Oddity um, But I thought like yeah, no, that's not gonna to work and I really had another I uh, idea for the album and wanted to do a completely different than Space Oddity was So I decided to name it Moonquake so then we had Moonquake and then I needed to create the songs and that was a little bit of a struggle uh, especially in the beginning because I was not completely sure how I wanted to do it and at some point I thought like okay you know what I really want to make a musical experience <laughs> and with that I mean like if you listen to the album in its whole or um, as a part of it like if you listen to two or three songs you need to create your own little um, uh, story with it you know your own memories your own visual uh, you need to visualize for yourself like images and stuff and it's not gonna be a main story or a main thing for the whole album for everybody the album will be different and will have other um, uh, memories and 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 your own little world around it you know and that's what I wanted to do with the album so I decided to make it a down tempo ambient cinematic kind of album and went for really calm music instead of like harder music and um, also like that is the music that I love to create and love to make and a little bit of experimental is there too of course because that's always cool to create <laughs> and um, so came the idea for um, Moonquake and creating songs <laughs> The funny thing is like um, I created a lot of songs from it and I definitely will le let you hear some of the songs that didn't make it uh, and I will talk a little bit about it. I will also let you hear some of the songs from the album, uh, not all of them because if you want to listen to the whole album just go to Spotify or buy the album and listen to it. Um. <coughs> <coughs> so yeah, uh, let's start with... Um, the, album, uh, the songs that didn't make the album So 
So I think there's a total of six, um, five or six songs that didn't make the album. Um, the first one is called Anxiety. Uh, well, it's pretty straightforward to what it is. Um, I released it as a single on BitChute and it will come also to Spotify and to um, YouTube because I still think it's a perfect song but it really didn't fit with the album and it was a shame because I really wanted to put it on the album but it, it, there, there was not a really like um, a connection between the other songs with this one. <laughs> so the story is like um, as somebody who deals with um, problems with self-confidence and a bit of anxiety um, I thought like you know so sometimes people will want to know like what is anxiety and you want to explain it but it's kind of difficult if somebody doesn't feel this way or doesn't know uh, what it really means you know so I thought like you know what I'm gonna put it in a musical form there's a part it starts really calm um, and it's building up to something um, then there's the really hard part and the, the, the more uh, electronic part and then it's going back to really calm music again. So the idea is like it's a build up to something scary or something that you have to deal with and it's very difficult. Then you get the middle part what is ex actually the anxiety part <laughs> and then that happens and you're done with it and the anxiety part is over and you're going back to your calm old self. And that's what I wanted to do with this song, and I I think that um, I I got a lot of good feedback from it, and I think that people will, with anxiety, will understand this song. And um, again, for the people who don't know what anxiety is, I try to put it in a kind of musical form and um, to explain it for people. <laughs> Then there are two songs that didn't make the album either. <coughs> um, actually, this uh, was not planned, but because of really bad feedback on this on this song, um, and one of those songs, I thought like you know what I'm gonna cut both of them, because the idea was I made a beat and I'm gonna play over it with my uh, keyboard, and you get a kind of melody. And for me, it sounded good, you know, it's not perfect or anything, but it sounded good. And I thought like that it was good for the album. Uh, and then I asked for a review on, on a website, on Drupal, and people really told me like, you know, this, this sounds like shit, you know. And I'm super happy with it that people were so honest with me because then I could choose to get rid of it. Um, the songs were called Paradise and Overthink. And... After after like I'm released the album right now, I'm super happy that I decided not to put them on the album because again they don't fit really well, well with the album and um, I think that that the um, the ID was nice but the uh, <laughs> end result wasn't and I'm really happy like even though it was at the moment really annoying or difficult to hear like oh this sounds terrible. Um, I was uh, I, I was super happy that they were um, honest about it and that they told me like you know don't put this on the own please. <laughs> um, let me think because I think there were two more songs, um, three more songs to be honest, because the prelude that I used for this album was not gonna be the prelude that I wanted to use for the album. <laughs> a whole other ID um, on the album from Bonobo I think the one is called Black Sands there's an intro and after that intro it's going to a song called Kiera and it's actually the uh, intro song but then in a full song you know <laughs> and I really love that ID and I wanted to do that with um, with one of my songs too so I made a prelude and I made a song called um, Dreams Will Get You Everywhere 
En um, a friend of mine called Taron did an um, album review for it. And I sent him the album and he was listening to it. And he told me like, you know, uh, it, it's cool, but this song is way too long. Because it's the preview was like uh, 1 minute and 20 seconds. But the... Um, uh, a song like uh, Dreams Will Catch You Everywhere was around 7 minutes and for a second song that's way too long you know uh, people will not listen to the other songs then because they think like wow 7 minutes that's way too long I, I have to go on you know planning to uh, release it at some point uh, somewhere uh, maybe on YouTube maybe on uh, YouTube maybe on Spotify SoundCloud who knows but um I, I still love those songs, but it really was too too much for, for the album. And then we had one song called um, Damnation Memory. What was a really cool ID. And um, I still love the ID. Because the story behind this song is that it's about somebody who was once super popular and super everybody knew. But then got kind of forgotten and nobody remembered the person that it was. And uh, I really liked the story and um, I had somebody doing focus for it and came up with this idea. So I'm really thankful for that. <laughs> but in the end, again, it didn't fit the album. And I really liked the idea and I really liked the song. But um, I, I don't know, it, it didn't fit really with the album. And... Um, I'm 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 gonna release the song somewhere next year probably because um again still busy with things, <laughs> but um yeah, again like the story was perfect behind the song and the song itself was also okay, but you know um again like if you have an album full of instrumental songs and there's one song with vocals it's it's gonna be. You know it doesn't fit at all and uh, it might be annoying because like you expect more vocal songs than probably <laughs> at least that was what I thought and um, again that the, the beat <coughs> <coughs> for the song was not really fitting the whole album uh, setting really well <laughs> so that's where the songs that didn't make the album now we are gonna talk about the songs that are on the album um, like I said in the beginning, this album is really about your story, about your memories that you make with this music. It's your musical experience. So um, I find it kind of difficult to tell like what the story is behind Moonquake or the story of Moonquake. Because they're, the story is your own story, what you make with the songs and the, the images that you get when you listen to the song. Like um, For example, like if you listen to Bellame... Um, Maybe I think about a beach and maybe you think about a landscape or a forest, you know? And I think that is the best thing that can happen, you know, in music. Like that you make your own little story, your own imagination, uh, that you let your imagination happen and let it go, you know? And um, about music, that's what I love about music because I have that with a lot of songs and especially with down tempo and ambient songs, you know? I can create my own little visualization with it and visualize like images with it or um, uh, things with it so yeah that, that's what I love about it but um, there are some stories behind some of the songs and um, I kind of want to tell you about it so um, I'm going on with it um, Let's start with the prelude. Like I said, it is different from what it was going to be because it uh, it was intentionally going to be different. But I'm really happy with this one um, because it has a little bit of the influence from all the songs on the album, and it get a little bit of mind journey. It get a little bit of uh, moonquake. It get a little bit of oblivion. It get a little bit of uh, the long walk, and um, I think that's summing up the, the album really good you know it's a great start for the album because when you hear it you'd be like wow this for me <laughs> hopefully hopefully that is hopefully you get the idea like wow this sounds awesome and um, then you listen to the next song what is a really calm song and then you think like oh I guess I heard a little bit of an 
hint to this song in the in the prelude and um, that was a really interesting thing to create and to make for this uh, for this album um, the other song is called Bellame um, what was my last song that I made and it's a really calm song um, I really need a beautiful word uh, wow well, beautiful word for this song and I was looking on um, on um, uh, on words and I saw Bellame what is French for beautiful soul and I thought like yeah that's the one <laughs> that's the one that I'm looking for because it's it's super calm it's beautiful sounding and um, it's about you know being a beautiful soul and I really like that like the text with it you know in the French I, I pro probably butchered it but uh, in French it sounds so beautiful and um, I really like the meaning of the words and then we got um, three what is number three on the album um, I did that for a purpose because number three is my lucky number and um, the other story behind it is that um, Tashotana released an album this year and she has a song called Seven uh, Seven is another one of my favorite um, numbers and lucky numbers <laughs> And I thought like, you know what, I want to create something similar like that, uh, like this song. So then I made three and um, it, it doesn't sound like Seven from Tashotana because Tashotana made different music than what I do. But um, I still like the idea behind it and that three is, is a lucky number. Um, so yeah, it was kind of based on... Uh, the Taj Sultana song and um, yeah that's that's the story for three and then we got yeah my journey my journey is one of the more experimental songs and it's literally a trip through the mind you know and um, when I made it I was really happy with it because it sounded a little bit psychedelic and a little bit 60s and a little bit um, um, experimental and I love that kind of sound you know um, it, it was so much fun to create this song and when I had the end result I was like wow this sounds so cool and again I got a lot of good feedback on it and a lot of people who love the song so um, when I released it on a single on on, on Drumble and on uh, Bitshoot and um, I'm super thankful for that because it's one of the songs that I really love to make and it was great to have it um, Oblivion Oblivion was as one of the first songs I created for this album and it was that was the moment that I thought like okay you know what it's going to be super down tempo and ambient and cinematic and I think that's what you can hear in Oblivion um, there's also some samples in it um, and uh, I I just realized it when I released it well, um, had the album release, but after my journey, you're going into oblivion. <laughs> I thought it was a funny funny thing to happen. Um, um, and it it was inten not intentional, but it just happened to be that was going to be the next song. So yeah, um, the samples in the song doesn't mean a lot. It's more like. Uh, for the for the sphere of the song and and for the um, or like the atmosphere of the song and I think they are really fitting with with the music and with the beats and uh, yeah I really hope uh, that 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 you like the song. <laughs> Faded memory was a song that I made like. Um, let me let let me think how I'm I'm going to explain this. Fade Memory was a song that I made like thinking about but um, with, with, with the thought of what will happen if, if I forgot everything like if I forgot a memory that meant a lot to me a memory that there that you always knew and always remembered but completely forgot at one point and I thought like that's, that's kind of what this song is about like all the beautiful memories that you had all the beautiful things that you've done and um, everything that you reached and then completely forget it and um, 
don't remember in those beautiful memories in, again. Um, it was kind of a <laughs> kind of a sad uh, song to make, but um, I think it's it's explaining that very well in the song. And uh, some people thought it was going to be an intro for the album. Uh, what I thought was super interesting because it's it's working as an intro too, I guess. But um, yeah, no, that that's a little bit of the story behind it. And it's kind of sad. <laughs> I think it's one of the saddest stories uh, of this whole album. Um, the other song is... Um, then we got uh, The Long Walk. Um, the Long Walk is one of the later songs too. And it's more of a lo-fi hip-hop kind of beat. Um, I'm not a big fan of hip-hop or rap or the modern hip-hop. I mean, I like a Kanye West song sometimes, and I like um, to listen to The Weeknd sometimes, but uh, it's not that I'm a big fan from it, or um, that I'm listening to a lot of such music. But I love to um, listen to some of the lo-fi kind of hip-hop soul beats, you know? Um, and that's uh, why I created, first of all, the, the Long Walk and Visualize later. What is also more of a lo-fi kind of beat. Um, the funny thing about the long walk is that um, where I was creating it, I thought like it, it's it's good, but it's missing something. And then I thought like, what if I add some violence in it? And I found a sample from an old movie uh, where a woman is like, I love this song, but where are the violence? And I thought like, that's what I needed. So what I did is um, I've put the, um, the sample in and after the sample was done and uh, um, after you hear the sample you hear the filings coming in and I thought that was super awesome effect and uh, that that is what made the video or the, the video the song really interesting to me. So yeah that's, that's uh, the story of that. Alright, uh, the next song will be uh, Carpe Diem. To be honest, not really a story of this song. Uh, the only thing I can tell is that it made, was made at the same time as um, Oblivion was. Um, and I was really looking for that down tempo kind of vibe and for that ambient vibe, but also that little bit of cinematic sound in it. And I think that um, Carpe Diem has that sound. And. Um, yeah, it's just a really calm song and really relaxed to listen in at the background and just um, the the thought of it is like carpe diem means like uh, um, uh, enjoy every day and get out if get out the day what you can get and I think that's the most important thing to do like be creative and do what you want to do and enjoy that's the most important thing. Um, then we got Moonquake, um, interesting story because um, when I was creating Moonquake, like I said, like I knew it want, I wanted to make a little bit of um, a cinematic ambient down tempo kind of album, but I also thought like maybe I need to do one song that's really hard and dubstep like and really shaking her things up and then I thought like, you know, um, and then I create this song and it's not like, you know what, forget about it. This is going to be Moonquake. This is perfect. It's uh, the build up, the this this the voice yeah, the kind of voices you hear in this in the middle of the song and then it's going down and then it's coming back up just at the last kind of minute I guess. Um, yeah, you know, and I thought like that is going to be Moonquake. And I asked for a review for it, uh, from some people <laughs> And they told me like it's not really going to be the moonquake, but I see myself, or can visualize myself going to the moon and coming back, you know. And I thought like that's also okay with me, you know. That's what this song kind of is, you know, like taking a trip um, into space, you know, going back to the moon and back to Earth again. <laughs> I I really like that uh, that uh, that idea behind the song. Um, then we got three more songs. Um, dystopian future um, was going to be is um, 
I don't really have a story for that either. I mean, like, it was also a song that I created. Does it fit with the album? It's a little bit harder than uh, Moonquake and the rest of the other songs. But, um, yeah, it was super interesting to create that song too. Then we go into Visualize, what is practically <laughs> what it is. Um, it was another uh, lo-fi kind of beat. And um, when I was making... Um, uh, the long walk I was like you know what I kind of want to make a similar song like this kind of like that they fit together and I think that is what's uh, what happened this song is also really so kind of slow lo-fi hip-hop kind of beats and um, like I said before like during the, the, lo the long walk uh, segment I, I told already like you know I don't like modern hip-hop or really like rap hip hop kind of thing but this is what I love it's so calm you can listen to it and just dream a little bit and um, that that's what what I love about lo-fi music you know you don't have to think about it just relax think about or just take some take some time off and just dream a little bit <laughs> um, then we go to the almost last song what is called Enlighten uh, the interesting story is that this song was created practically after I was done with um, Space Oddity and um, was already planned for the album um, from the beginning on because I thought like it's relaxed it's kind of world music a down tempo kind of vibe and then I was working on this album and I thought like you know what I still can use this song so that was the old song and I already made it back in April or something so yeah um, and then we have, have the epilogue um, interesting story is like I wanted to say um, um, created an, a perfect ending to this album and I thought like you know I personally don't like to be on the album itself with my voice and with talking and stuff um, and it didn't really fit with the album either you know so I thought like you know what I'm gonna use old movie samples and um, gonna make a little bit of a beat around it and then you got the epilogue so it kind of starts like with um, uh, nice to meet you what what I really mean like it, it's um, I don't personally meet all of the people who listen to my music, but um, uh, I, I'm always happy to hear from people when they, they listen to my music and have some feedback or be, have, have, have something to say to me about it. And, and, and it means a lot to me and it, it's nice to, to meet you then, you know, to, to talk a little bit and um, to even if it's just like one or two comments, I mean, that already means a lot to me. Um, and this song follows us up by um, uh, let me play a record for you then you hear some uh, sound effects like radio turning and then the beat is coming in and um, it starts really slow and then I, I, I thought like you know what I, I need to give you the feeling that there is more to this song and then I um, use the simple I, th I think they say like um, you want it all don't you oh yeah then then you hear like are you ready ready and then do it do it and then you hear the whole song in the outro you know and and I thought like <laughs> uh, it was pretty clever and really funny to to make it and a perfect ending for an album like it's it's not kind of it's it's still ambient and down tempo but uh, it has some vocals and um, yeah I thought that it was really fitting with uh, with the whole album um, and again, um, that's the story of Moonquake and a little bit of behind the scenes stories. Um, I kind of made a different video than I did last time because last time I let you hear all the songs. But I think like, you know, it's more fun for you to experience it yourself and to listen to all the music. And um, yeah, you know, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to hear from you what you think of it. And... Uh, um, if you have feedback just let me know and or if you want to do um, 
let me know what you think of the album i'm i'm always happy with every like i said it, it means a lot to me if somebody leave a comment and tell me like um uh, i like the song or even if you don't like it you can let me know i mean um that's that's super awesome to receive and and um again i had so much fun making this album it was the project that i <coughs> that i really wanted to make from the beginning on and where space oddity was a little bit more of a mess with sounds and songs i really had the um, idea of a structure for this one and i think you can hear that so yeah with this song or with this album i really wanted to have more structure and more of a experience you know and i think that's um uh that's um what what it was supposed to be it is you know so um thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoy the album um and don't forget to let me know what you think of the album and consider buying the album and support the uh, help musician uk organization so we can help even more musicians getting their dream coming through and getting um giving them the help they need with their anxiety or with their thing to create the music that they want i think that's a beautiful beautiful idea for an organization and a beautiful idea for a charity and i'm really i, I really mean this i i would love to give them a lot of money um to support this idea because it's exactly what i want i'm going a little bit off topic here but um I know how difficult it can be to take the step to do something new and to take the step to um, put it online you know it's super scary the first time but once you've done it and once you get the support from people because I got so much support this year what I, I mean it, it means so much to me but yeah so I kind of know like how um, how important it is to get to get to the first step to do what you want to do and with that i'm going to end this video i want to thank you again enjoy the album and i will see you in the next video bye 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 bye